Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to my tutorial on how to make a Java application executable. I've received this question countless numbers of times, and today, real quickly, I'm going to show you exactly how it's done on both PCs as well as Macs, because it's identical. So what I got here is a basic application that I went and created. Here's a whole bunch of different files, and the measurement conversion.java is the main guy that has the main function in it. That's important to understand, because this is going to be something you're going to use. So now that we have all that, we just need to locate where we have all these files saved in our file system. And if we bring them all up, I have them all set up right here on the left side of the screen, as you can see right here. And I'm simply going to select all of them and I'm just going to copy them. Then what I did was I created a folder also called measurement conversion. And inside of it, I saved two folders, one called classes, one named source. Well, the files that you just copied are source files. So we're going to paste those in that directory. So you can see them all right there on your screen. And that's basically all you're going to need to do. Now you need to open up, if you're on Windows, your command line tool. Or if you're on a Mac, you need to open up your terminal. Now, if you are on a PC, you just have to click Start. And then in the Run section or the Open field at the bottom that opens up there, you need to type in cmd.exe. That's going to open up that guy. If you're on a Mac, you just open up your terminal. Now, another thing that's different, and this is the only other thing that's different. On a Mac, you're going to type ls if you want to list that out all of your files in your directory and on a PC you're going to type dir for directory. Then what we need to do, and this is on Macs and PCs, is just change your directory to your source folder if you aren't already there, but I already am so I'm just going to work with this. And then you're going to type in Java C and then a dash and D and this is going to put all your compiled code into the classes folder that you have created hopefully. And then we're just going to put dot dot forward slash classes and then star dot java and hit enter. Okay, so we have all of that set up. And now we could go change directory dot dot classes like this, ls, and you can see all of the classes right there. And then if you wanted to execute one of these, you could just go Java and then measurement conversion. And don't think this is where I'm stopping. I'm actually going to show you how to make an executable jar file too. So it works just like an application. Hit enter. And you can see right here, the last program that I made, gallons, two pints and hit OK. And you can see one gallons equals eight pints and you can hit OK and it closes. See, it works just like an application. Now I'm going to show you how to make an executable jar file, which is also very easy. So we are already in our classes directory. If you were not, you would do something like this and to change your directory to your classes directory. But like I said, we're already there. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is make a text file called manifest.text. So I'm gonna open up a basic text editor. And then inside of this guy, you're gonna type in main with an uppercase M dash class colon, and then whatever the name is for the Java file that you have that contains the main function. And then after that, you're gonna hit return. And then you're going to file, save as, and you're going to save this guy in the same location where we have your classes files, which are right here. So here's classes, here's source, and you're going to save them in the classes folder that we created. So we just wanted to go in here and type manifest.text. Make sure it's like that. Don't open this in Word. Make sure it's a text editor, and you're going to save it in there. Just make sure you hit return after the end of this. Another big piece is done. Now, back inside of the terminal, I'm going to go ls or on a PC, dir, and you're going to see manifest text is shown inside of there. And I'm going to go jar dash c v m f manifest dot text. And then I'm going to go measurement conversion dot jar star dot class and hit enter. And that's going to go and crush everything down exactly the way I want it. We can get rid of that. And then if we jump over here to the classes folder like that, you can see that our jar file is right there and it's called measurement conversion dot jar. And if we double click on it, it's going to open up just like our previous application, except it's just a double click. So we can go one gallons, two pints, hit enter. One gallons equals eight pints. So there you go. That's how to make Java executable applications on both a Mac or PC. Leave any questions or comments below. Otherwise, till next time.